Braining out is allegedly worse than cutting off limbs. However, despite being the massive za head that I am, I've never actually experienced that climax. I've had friends go through it before my very eyes and seen the absolute destruction that befalls their now forever ruined bodies. But me, I've never had it happen to me until today, when my constant push for entertaining content ended up pushing me over the edge and greening out for the first time. The night started off normal enough. I was watching diva twerk compilations ice spice full view oiled up bust down 4k while off a few gummies as i do every night when i had a thought come to me hmm i haven't left my bed in like a week i need to get into some video material mischief right now or else i'm gonna felled off so i took another two gummies and shot a text over to none other than the absolute legend roderick himself bro i need you to come over to my house this instant please 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 all right bro i got you i'll be there in a minute roderick pulled up instantly with his massive stature and greek godlike appearance and was clutching none other than his epic weed in one hand and a bag of some yummies in the other shutting the door behind ourselves i gave roderick massive greetings into my humble abode and seeing what he had brought i knew exactly what was about to go down so we sat on the couch and began to do our thing we both ended up taking about a million hits each before finding finally giving it a bit of a break. And let me tell you, at this point, I was already feeling higher than something that's really tall. Now scrolling YouTube, I saw a gym motivational video pop up in my recommended. I don't usually watch these types of things, but having been reading Vagabond and practicing the way of the samurai, I was feeling strong and in need of constant self-improvement. And being as high as I was, this seemed like exactly the thing that would push me beyond my human limits. We watched the whole thing in silence but the raw emotion was louder than anything I've ever felt. The only noise we made was at the end where we both let out mighty roars ready to take on any foe. Bro, I need conflict! Hey, let's bust out the push-ups, why don't we, my brother? Come on, let's just get on the floor. <laughs> As soon as we stood up, I found it really hard not to stumble around and realized there was no actual way for me to do anything. Neither of us were really able to move, and even if we did, we'd probably hurt ourselves. Okay, bro, I can't actually do this. Let's just watch people work out on the TV instead. All right, dude, but the punishment for not working out right now is that we have to smoke more weed, which I gladly accepted. And in this very moment, I knew exactly what I had to do. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, uh, yeah. I have to smoke endless weed and green out for views. It's what the people want. I have to persevere for those massive YouTube numbers. Us both finding this idea very funny, Roderick and I did a few more rotations of that smoky smoky to really send ourselves flying. Finishing up this round, we decided it would probably be best if we got one other person in here to help me keep on my mission. So we decided to hit up our boy Cameron to come over and make sure we were able to keep focused. He eventually came over and when we opened the door for him, we were nothing more than shells of our former selves. We had smoked ourselves into mere husks of who we used to be. But I was still talking coherent enough that Cameron knew his job wasn't complete. Hey, how's it going, lads? Not good. I don't think I can handle this anymore. I might have gone over my head for this one, dude. That's all right, bro. That's why I'm here. Think of the view dude let the views motivate you just seeing Cameron's shining smile motivated me to go a little further I took a few more hits but not nearly enough to green out but I was high enough to be brain dead after a few minutes had passed I heard another knock at my door my first thought I had to myself was oh Cameron must have gotten here forgetting he had arrived minutes ago when I opened the door it was actually some missionaries that had came from the church inviting me to a local event they were hosting I start to panic here. I couldn't even remember that Cameron had entered my house, so I knew I couldn't communicate with the missionaries. Oh, you guys, hey, come here, come over here. My words were bullshit, but sounded convincing enough to be real. I got Cameron to the door and ran away to hide. Oh yeah, Cameron already got here. He took care of those guys for me real good. The missionary encounter had shaken me up a bit and faltered my motivation visibly. I'm struggling here, my boy. You're gonna need to do something real moving to get me any further. Cameron. Then he did something I never expected him to do in my life. In an act of true selflessness and purity, he ate his first ever edible for my sake. Now that I'm going to be high for the first time, boys, 
you gotta do this. Having witnessed such a manly and awesome moment, I now knew what had to be done. I wasn't gonna let anything stop me. Not even the dizziness that was absolutely beginning to obliterate me, just like I do to Ice Spice, could stop me. I took another gummy and took one last giant rip of the bong. And just like that, it was all over. My moment had finally come. After a few minutes, I began feeling the full effects. I was getting incredibly dizzy and nauseous. Standing became a near impossible task, and just the sound of Roderick and Cameron talking felt overstimulating and overly loud to the point I couldn't handle it. Honestly, this part gets kind of a little fuzzy in my mind, but I eventually managed to get carried upstairs to my bed, now unable to even get words out of my mouth. And in this instant, I immediately knew that I was just like Drake because I was out like a light. Anyways, that's